Hi there and welcome back. This time we're going to go on two trips. The first trip that you see here is to the Big Goodwill and it's with Jocelyn. I hadn't seen her all year. <laughs> of course, it's only been a couple weeks into the first of the year, but who cares? I hadn't seen her all year and it was great catching up with her. I found these bags. It looked like bags of patches, maybe for quilts that hadn't been put together. And if you were into making quilts, that would be a great buy for you. And here was a tape of Kenny Rogers and a paperweight. Look at that. See Jocelyn's video for my initial reaction of finding these. 99 cents. Oh, that's Well, fantastic. I don't mind if I do. I like Look at that. Look at that. What is this? This? Yeah. This is Bacardi Vanilla. So it's personalized, but those roly poly glasses. Yeah. I had Why is it low on one side? I'm not sure, but they balance. So when you pour the stuff in it, it balances. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's neat. Because I had the decanter. I thought that was interesting that she said that they kind of level themselves out when liquid is put in them because I didn't know that until she told me. And now you know. Here is another jewelry box. This one was in really nice shape. I liked how the drawer popped open. This looks like one my mother-in-law has. And I don't have room for this or a need for this. I already have a jewelry box that has Pomeranians on it. I love it. But this, again, would be really nice if you had an antique booth and or a booth in an antique mall and you could use it as a display. So I thought that was in very nice condition. Jenny and I are taking Spanish on Babbel. Yeah. yeah. I took four years of Spanish. I can't remember <laughs> any of it. Oh gosh. What does this say? Old print factory made in the USA. Oh, that's cute. It's a little Valentine. Only 99 cents. That's cute for Valentine's Day. We have my Graham's old pencil sharpener. Electric fondue. The leg is broken. Oh, that's a shame. Hmm. Go for some fondue. I think the universe is telling me I need to get some cheese and make some fondue because I keep seeing fondue pots. It was a shame that that one had a broken leg. This was plastic. This is probably Joseph and Jesus. It's from the Sacred Heart Monastery. And here was a spoon rest made by False Graph. I was a little surprised it was $4.99. I thought that was a little pricey. And that was plastic. I thought it was glass. This is an end cap. So I'm trying to show you what they have on the end cap here. There weren't a lot of people here. So it was nice. We felt like we had the store to ourselves. On the bottom here was this art pottery bowl with the ladle. I guess it's a soup bowl with the original ladle. It was really nice. But Jocelyn and I both agreed that we wouldn't want to ship that because it was heavy. This, what did you find? This... Oh, wow. <laughs> this is six ninety nine. You should hit it with your black light and see if it's a fancy one. It's not really the right color, but I've seen that fill stuff glow before. Maybe that's why it's so spendy. It's glowy. <laughs> it's crazy. Here you go. Here, oh, okay. All right. That makes it better, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting $99 or $1.99. I was a little surprised that it was ex on the expensive side for Goodwill, but I decided that was going to be my high ticket item and since it glows so nice under the black light it's worth it and it's super cool looking here's half a glass baby <laughs> it was not i was hoping half a glass baby i think i just made that up <laughs> but we will find one we are determined and then there was this plate here that i thought was interesting because of what was written on the plate. Thanks to Google Translate, this is the translation that I came up with, and it does have Lebanon on it, and we have a Lebanon PA, but I don't know if it's the same. On Lake Winnipesaukee. I've been there. I'm surprised you were able to say that. I would have been like, um... <laughs> <laughs> Winnipesaukee? 
We went to Lake Winnipesaukee when we took my mom up to New York for the Sheep and Wool Festival, and we were posing on a dock, and my husband almost dropped his phone into Lake Winnipesaukee. It was hilarious at the time, and then afterwards we thought about it, how terrible that would have been if he had actually dropped his phone, but he didn't, so it was fine. This, of course, since I am learning Spanish again for the maybe, let's see, third time, um, I thought this was interesting. It was Barcelona. It was a little, it looked like a guidebook, had a little pen there. I didn't think it would have a very high resale value, but it still was nice looking through it and seeing the pictures. It was a very nice little book if you needed a book on Barcelona, but I left it on the shelf. This, now last time I was here, there were only these two pieces, and now they found the rest of the set. But this does not go with it, I don't think. Yeah, this is, those are Pennsylvania. No, this is from Bolivia. <laughs> and these are a secret. I don't know what that is, but they found more of the pieces. I have this cake thing. It's in my basement. <laughs> it's the complete kit. Yes, I could make it. It's from 2002. It should still be good. I think it'll be fine. I love cream brulee. I think it's so fancy and so fun to eat. Comment below if you like cream brulee or what's your favorite fancy dessert? Let's find out what everyone's favorite fancy dessert is. I would say my favorite fancy dessert is cream brulee. And I think it would be fun to learn to make. But you do need one of those torch things to make the sugar crunchy. I thought that maybe this was another Hungarian piece. I think you put a little candle in this little bowl or dish there, but it was not marked. It just had an A on the bottom. And so I left that there. That's like fancy drinking. I know. It's a shame they don't have a decanter with them because that would have been like super cool, but these are neat. I think those will suffice. It's a big one. Oh, they're not taped. That's pretty. I spied this on the shelf and I decided to get it for Jenny. She collects Pokemon cards. We did learn to play it um, one time when we were up in Wellsboro. There is a toy store up there and they have an after school program where kids can come and play card games and they have a Pokemon club. So the kids taught Jenny how to play Pokemon. It was actually quite fun. And so she has quite a collection of cards and there she can keep them in her binders because she I bought another binder at another trip to a Goodwill. These were cute little hand-painted milk glass dishes. And here was a little demi toss cup. I think we're in the white section. They had filled it back up. Last time I was here, it was pretty empty. And I like the shape of this creamer or vase. I like the handle right there. Look at that handle, that's nice. But I decided to leave it there. There was a whole bunch of this vintage china and I was looking for the logo or the mark on it and the cups didn't have the mark on it. What is the pattern it, on? It's a secret. Is it? It's, thank you, Jocelyn. You're welcome. The big <laughs> plates usually have it. Oh, look, Enemans. The donut on the end of the aisle. There you go. There's a whole bunch of mugs. Please. Jenny likes her chocolate donut. Okay. This piece looked to be an original watercolor drawing or painting, and it was really nice, even though it has a clown on it, but there was spotting on the top. Then I found a Garfield pad of paper, and inside here was a nativity, probably South American or Mexican in originality, origin, in origin. But unfortunately, two of the figurines had broken off inside this I wasn't quite sure what that sunflower was. I thought about the nativity, but I decided instead I was definitely going to get Jenny the pad of paper because she's always writing notes for herself and things. Then we both saw these Tupperware cups. Jocelyn didn't want them. I decided I would take them and they are marked USA. They're in really good shape, have some light wear to them, which is typical for something this old. But overall, in really great shape, I am selling the lot of nine. And then when we were walking our way to the checkout, 
I found this. I thought maybe it was a towel or an apron. I wasn't quite sure. It was pretty. It had cherry blossom designs on it. I would guess it was an apron. Here is some novelty yarn. You can find this at our Dollar Tree stores here in Lancaster. And here were some teacups that didn't have saucers. And then this tin is made in England and it does have a, I'm reading it right now, it does have a New York, a Long Island, New York stamp on the bottom of it. I decided to go to my favorite Goodwill on the way home from meeting Jocelyn. I found this figurine. It was marked Elfon. It was hand painted in Ireland. To me, I think maybe Elfon is the name of the artist because this looked like a little baby donkey. I could have been wrong. Here is a cashmere box, a paper mache box. Usually these are made in Kashmir, India. There was a little damage when I took the tape off of it, but for having tape wrapped around almost all of the box. It's in beautiful shape. And here they had added some more of these amber glasses since the last time I was here. And then these were two little Lennox figurines. They are made in China. They don't have a terribly high resale value, but I thought with Valentine's coming up, I thought it would be cute. Someone could buy them and add them to a little gift for Valentine's Day for their sweetheart. Or if you collect swans and baby elephants, they would be perfect for you. Then I found this in the white section. I thought that was strange. This is a, this might be a moon and stars. I don't, I'm not quite sure, but it is a toothpick holder. It does glow a teeny weeny weeny bit, but not really glowy like the other toothpick holder that I got when I was with Jocelyn. They had quite a bit of this china. This is Noritake china. I believe the Belmont pattern, it said Belmont on the bottom of it. You can see they had three shelves of, or two shelves of it. And then on the bottom shelf there, not here, that's more of it. Here was some more China and it was marked Germany. It was marked Royal Selb or Selb. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, but I don't really sell China plates and cups and stuff. I do like creamers and sugars because they're easier to deal with. But there wasn't a creamer and sugar there. And then there was this really big duck. And my hands were full, so I could only look at it. I couldn't really pick it up. And then I found this, and this is marked Made in Hungary. And I don't believe it is from my super duper find from last time, but it's a lamp because there's a hole on the back. And I can't find another one. So this is the only one in the world. <laughs> Jenny's laughing from the other room. Um, then I decided to get a basket. So then I could turn the duck over. It was very, very heavy. But really neat though, but extremely heavy. Maybe it was a door stopper, but it was made out of something that would break, so I'm not sure. These this was a cat, and I'm gonna say these were cats because there were two of them. But unfortunately, that one had a chip on the ear. So I did split up the set. These are Lancome cats. I took the smaller one because it was in better shape. The whiskers do wiggle a little bit, but overall it's in really great shape. A nice little whimsical cat. And then they had a dozen of these vintage hobbyist pieces, pieces, they're eggs. And I do like to buy these. They're really nicely decorated. And then I saw this in the, the bin. And this is a great book. If you haven't read it, it's a great book to read to small children. This felt like there were other critters inside of it but it did have a big crack right there on the side of it and it was taped up and with the crack I decided not to look further and see what was inside it and then this is a sandy cast I believe it's sandy cast yes sandy cast um, dog and you can see how these unfortunately get chipped up so easily um, you can fix them with marker like we used to do at the Hallmark store <laughs> And then I went to the toy section and they did have a Shirley Temple doll from the 70s and this doll does sell well and I thought well why didn't someone take this and then I realized that she had no eyelashes 
and I know doll collectors like to have their dolls in pretty great shape and with no eyelashes I didn't think that she would be a high value so I did leave her there but then in the re the in the bins I found Pua from Moana and then there was a little Moana doll I did leave her there and I did take the Pua because we needed him <laughs> here is everything that I picked up on both trips to Goodwill I hope you enjoyed this video Everything will be listed soon, and the link to my eBay store is in the description. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see ya!